Hey guys, before we begin today's video, uh, it's going to be a little different to the norm. Well, norm with only two videos. Uh, basically, I'll be giving an update to the channel and why I haven't posted anything for a while. Uh, but that'll be after the short mini mystery because I know a lot of you guys you know, want content more than an update. If I just release an update, you know, it would be a little disappointing. So I went ahead and researched a mini mystery for this video. That will be covering that first. And then the latter half of the video will be the update portion. What is Daily Bleep? On April 22nd, 2021, a post was made by user Panthers on Reddit on the Internet Mysteries subreddit. In the post, the following is said. So, I was doing my thing on YouTube as always, just browsing through some videos, until I stumbled upon this video. The channel of upset video dates back to May 16th, 2014, and its oldest upload is from that same day. Now, this is where things start to get a little weird. The channel has a total of 34,070 views as of typing this, accompanied by staggering 18,755 uploads from May 16th, 2014 to August 28th, 2015. It seems as if the channel consists of nothing but less than minute long videos of multiple images that change as the reoccurring sound of some sort of bleep is played the images in question are relatively weird to say the least. Each video description seems to follow the same sort of template. All descriptions start with a what is blank question, then follow up with what seems to be credit for the makers of the pictures used in the video. These images are very random, and some of them are even a bit disturbing. The titles of these videos also seem to be random, as you can see by this screenshot I took. Considering how old the channel is, I think it might be nothing of importance. Maybe it's just another throwaway YouTube channel for the simple purpose of throwing random shit into a video and calling it a day. Or maybe it has a deeper meaning than that. Who knows? Thought I should post it here at the unlikely case that someone somehow solves what exactly this channel and its videos are. Feel free to reply or privately message me out here if you find something related to the channel. With all being said, thanks for reading and have a good rest of your night. Here's an example of video from the channel. The images are usually correlated to fit with a certain theme, usually relating to whatever the question is in the description. However, there is sometimes some creepy imagery thrown in there. I'm not entirely sure if it's connected or not, I just thought I would mention that. Throughout my investigation and research, I had found a couple of rabbit holes via the comments on the Reddit post and by simply searching for more info. The first I found was a website and it too is strange. Although I have yet to see any correlation between them, the website is a blog by the same name with a lot of unfinished blog posts. Although some people in the Reddit comments insist they're related, I have yet to find anything that shows correlation other than the name. I'm not going to deny it though, I have not seen every single video on their channel as that would take an extremely large amount of time. But if you do know of a correlation, please feel free to correct me in the comments, I will appreciate it. Now back to the website. When I browsed it, it seemed strange, mainly because a lot of the blog posts looked unfinished. It'll usually have a title with no body, just a title. Some are images of what I believe may be the owner's friends, but like I said, I have yet to find a correlation. Next is a commenter that says they saw him once credit Tom Edgington for their photos. If you don't know who Tom Edgington is, that's an entirely different rabbit hole, and it would take me a while to go into detail about it. So if you want a good video that explains who that is and why it's important, please check out the Tech It Realms video on it. It's pretty well made. I'll put the link below. 
At first, I also tried to decode the beeps in the video myself. I assumed it was Morse code and put it into a decoder. I didn't find anything worthwhile. And then I found another Reddit post discussing what other people did and then trying to decipher the codes. It's a lot to explain, so I'll just go over what I see as the highlights. Basically, they found the code was actually a form of MFSK, also known as Multiple Frequency Shift Keying, which is keying a variation of frequency shift keying that uses more than two frequencies. I don't know what that means, but that's the definition for it. Through this process, user Sheep of Doom was able to find the phrase, The Order of Lafayette is a patriotic, atheodietary, nonpartisan, and fraternal organization. This is ripped straight from the Wikipedia page on the Order of Lafayette, which is a fraternal organization founded by Colonel Hamilton Fish in 1958 and is closely related to the military, it looks like. So, while viewing this, I had come up with three working theories. One, it's an ARG. Two, it is an art project of sorts. Or three, the videos are the ramblings of some crazy guy, or it's not really important at all, it's just some random hash of videos. First, let's look at theory one, and that's that this is some sort of ARG. This theory is that the channel is some sort of alternative reality game. This is due to the many codes and messages in it, and is supported by the fact that although not posting in 5 years, the user still likes people's comments to this day. Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's an ARG, just because the majority of ARGs I've seen try and tell some sort of narrative and have storytelling devices in it, and throughout my research I have yet to see any semblance of story structure or anything even hinting at a story. I won't throw this theory completely out as some ARGs have prided themselves on the amount of content and complexity that they have, which this channel does have, but the fact that they have over 18,000 videos that you have to decode in order to even figure out a little bit about it, it just doesn't seem to add up for me. Next theory is that this channel is an art project of sorts. The reason I came up with this theory is because every video seems to have a theme of sorts and maybe trying to get the attention of whatever the topic is. These topics can range from war, to religion, to technology, and it may be trying to comment on the world around it, which art does often. What exactly these topics are usually can be found by looking at the different sources that they got the pictures from. Finally, we have the theory that this is maybe the work of some old crone, or someone who's just making a lot of videos to be random. It's very easy to make a YouTube channel, and the platform is easily accessible to everyone, so it's not unheard of for a channel to be owned by someone who just posts whatever content they want. I mean, this could be the work of some crazy man, or an ordinary person who just wants to make weird content. This is supported by the website, as if it is indeed connected, it may just be an extension of the blogs, a person simply posting their thoughts in the video format as they want, and that's totally fine, freedom is what makes this platform the best. So if this is the way someone wants to make their content, that's totally fine. And that's why I think it's a good idea for Theory 3. It could have just no meaning. In the end, there just isn't enough info to really come to any of these conclusions. They all have a solid backing, but personally I think a lot more research has to be done before you can really come with a good idea. I think the art project out of all of them would probably be the most cohesive and understandable theory, but then again, if more info were to come to light, you could easily blow that theory out of the water. I'm sure eventually we'll be able to see exactly what this channel is about, or at least have a better idea. I did not assist in the initial investigation with the others, as I just simply wanted to cover the topic of what's already known. If any of you feel like adding to it or doing some sleuthing, I'll leave the links to all the reddit posts and the channel in question and below if you feel like helping figure out what exactly is happening.
Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that mini mystery. I spent quite a while researching it. Uh, I had to put something off on the side that's been stressing me out and I needed a break from it. Making videos is pretty therapeutic for me, so that's why I decided to make another video. Uh, in this update portion, I kind of want to address a big question that no one's asked, but I feel like I still have to answer. That's where I've been. So my first video was uploaded January last year. And well, you all know what happened last year uh, with the COVID and all that. But, you know, college and work has also been keeping me quite busy for making videos. And, uh, well, I also tried to make a shoddy but still watchable video last summer covering an ARG I participated in. Uh, not like in making it, but in solving it. Yeah, I made it in three days, and it's not really the best content. So I, I never want to rush content again, because I'm not really ashamed of it, but I understand it's lower quality. I probably wouldn't watch it myself. So I don't want to make content like that. So I really just... I only want to make a video if I know I have time and if I'm really going to enjoy the process of it. Because if it's rushed like that video, it's obviously not going to be well made like my first one was. Back to the point, uh, I've been working on a large project for the past year, I would say. Yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, it's taken up all the time I would have to make videos for YouTube, but I decided to take a break from it to make a video on Dead Hats just because I did get a small influx of viewers. Uh, my channel got a shout out from your everyday theorist. I believe that's his name. Shoot. Uh, I, I, I knew it, but now I forgot it now that I say it out loud. I, I'm pretty sure it's your everyday theorist. Uh, big thanks to him for that small little shout out. But yeah, uh, I, sadly, I didn't have much content for them to come here and look at. So I thought I'd put out a video for them to watch and for all my people who are already subscribed and an update as to where I've been. Uh, once I finish this large project, hopefully soon. I will actually be posting on here more often as now my editing has improved and I feel like I'm ready to kind of take this a little bit more seriously, but not too serious. It's still kind of a hobby for me. But, <laughs> sorry, I get a little rambly when I'm just discussing something, but I'll know soon. Uh, I have a Twitter and a Discord if you guys want to check it out. I'll put the links in the description. You can get some updates from what I'm doing uh, there, but that's totally up to you guys. You don't have to. Uh, for now, everyone have a good night, and please stay safe.